everyone. So I am announcing the new book club book. Happy New Moon, by the way. Um, today is August 2nd, and it's a beautiful Leo new moon. And I'm up here in the canyon above Oak Creek in Sedona. And um, I just wanted to introduce this book to you. So this book had been recommended to me for a, like a year or two, I guess. And um, I finally got my hands on it and I'm reading it. And as soon as I started reading it, I knew that it was gonna be the next book club book. I mean, just look at the, just look at the magic even in the cover image. It's called the Gaia Codex. Gaia is also another word for earth. So um, essentially, I'm only, as you can see, my little bookmark is about halfway through, uh, but there's so many amazing activations in here. The author, Sarah Drew, I've connected a little bit with her and she's lovely, definitely encoded this knowledge. And so this is technically a fiction book. It's a story of, um, of some, the heroine is kind of, uh, mm, gosh, I don't even know how to, a, a repository of knowledge. Um, it's, there, there's a lot of ways that she is that, but um, this is her finding herself, finding her way and figuring out what she kind of is. So I just wanted to read you guys a little excerpt. Look at how lovely the book even is. It's just, it's just great. Okay, so, a priestess of Astera is initiated over many lifetimes. She walks in all cultures. She wears the skins of many races. Trained to hold the thread of memory, she is said to carry the seeds of wisdom as civilizations are born and die. A priestess may play many roles in a culture. She may not be recognized except perhaps for the kindness of her heart or for an unusual ability to comfort, nourish, and heal those wounds no one else can heal. The priestesses of Astara have been artists, lovers, and courtesans. They have been queens, scientists, alchemists, poets, scholars, mothers, medicine women, muses, and shopkeepers. You will find some priestesses in deep forests or in high mountain caves where they are yoginis, saints, and oracles. Priestesses who are in seclusion are dedicated in prayer and blessings to the larger ener energies of our Mother Earth, to the forests, the plants, the trees, and the animals, to the collective soul of a species, or to the planet herself. Some priestesses have merged with the goddess in her forms as Lakshmi. Ocean, Aphrodite, Kuan Yin, or Tara, or Mary. They walk the earth as her living embodiment. All priestesses have taken a vow to sustain and rejuvenate life, to plant and cultivate the seeds of wisdom in the hearts of human beings and in the soil of Mother Earth as civilizations are born and die. The way of the priestess is not easy, for you must die a thousand deaths to be one with the goddess, she who flowers ten thousand times. That is epic, huh? I love this book, so fully um, recommended, and the book club selection will start today. You can check out past ones on monthlymagicbookclub.com, and also there's a Facebook group for the Monthly Magic Book Club. Let me know what you guys think. I'm sure a lot of you sisters out there have already read this and already have opinions on it because it is legit encoded info. I like it. So thank you very much, Sarah Drew, for writing it, and you guys pick it up. Let me know what you think. Have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful moon cycle, wishing you lots of deliciousness and expansion and growth and harmonic synchronicity. And may you all be blessed and beautiful and happy. And I'll see you again very soon.